What's up, guys? It's your boy, the Piscean Predator. I'm back with that TPP True Crime Talk. Before we get jumping into this topic, can you guys smash that like and that subscribe? Help your boy get this channel pumping up, growing a bit, get some more uh, conversation down in that comment section. All right, guys. Topic uh, for this video is, man, this one's a sad one. It's a sad one. This is a, I, I don't know, if, yeah, I guess you would call it a cold case. I kind of look at it more like a cover-up. Because once I explain to you the situation, you'll probably feel the same way. So the topic is the Elling Greenberg murder. And I'm going to say murder because that's what it is. I'll give you right now. So Ellen Greenberg from uh, Philadelphia, right? It was a teacher. And she mysteriously committed suicide by stabbing herself 20 times. Yeah, that's what I said. 20 times suicide yeah 2011 back in 2011 guys 2011 she stabbed herself 20 times right do we believe that hell no so basically what it is she was at her apartment with her fiance at the time she was making a uh I believe it was a fruit salad and her boyfriend had went down to the gym to work out, went down to the gym in like clothes and boots, bro, that you don't work out in. He's down there for a little bit and then he comes up and finds the door locked. So he's like calling 911, you know, freaking out, trying to, you know, say, you know, she's not answering the door, this and that. Okay. Breaks into the door, supposedly has a witness, seen him break into the door, goes in, finds her in the kitchen, stabbed up, right? But she's unresponsive and he can't really tell what had happened, he's claiming. While he's on the phone, right, with 911, they're trying to get him to, to give, you know, to life support, like save her life, like let's do some CPR. So they have him take her, you know, jacket off, this and that. And then he sees the knife plunge into her chest. How the hell did you not see that before the jacket came off? Like, it, it doesn't make sense. And then he asked the lady if he has to, to do CPR or like he doesn't know or how to do CPR, this or that. So it, it, it just doesn't even make sense. Now, here's the other thing that don't make sense is before he calls 911, he calls his uncle. Now, his uncle is a connected individual. We're talking attorney. We're talking, why the hell did you call him first? That's the first red flag, right? Right off the gate, that's the first red flag. And once they, they you know, the law enforcement gets there, the questioning, this and that, it's like basically like they're, they're not even questioning him like he did it or anybody did it, right? the way that he had found her with the door locked, like it is one of those little swingy hedge, hinge ones. So I guess that right off the gate made them think that, Oh, well she must've committed suicide because she had locked the door. And I mean, the way that those door latches locked, like it could only have been her that did it right. How could have murdered somebody murdered her and get out the door and lock it that way. You can go check out YouTube or TikTok. And there's videos on how you can lock and unlock those doors with a little swing latch, like, you know, a, like a motel style swing latch. There's videos on how you can do it. So it's doable. All right. So let's just throw that out the window. All right. So now sh they take her and they perform an autopsy on her. Now, the, the man that performed the autopsy on her, he wanted to write down foul play or inconclusive. Then law enforcement talked to him and told him basically to rule it a suicide. What? Guys, seriously? What? Are you serious? A suicide? There's no way. There's no way. How could you as a medical examiner do that? I don't give a shit what law enforcement says. You're looking at the body. And it's 20 stab wounds, man. Not just to the front, to the back, to her spine. 
one that punctured the brain. How? That's not a suicide. That's not a suicide. So, we got red flags all over the damn place. It's, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard. So, I know that sometimes we have situations where there'll be cases that kind of get mislabeled as something that they're, they aren't because a investigation wasn't done properly. But this is beyond that, right? This is beyond that. Now, the other thing that you must know is the uncle had come to the apartment and retrieved laptops, all that stuff. Anything that would have data on it to like maybe give a rundown of, uh, you know, what was going on in their life, any of that type of stuff. He took it. And it was never handed over to law enforcement. Like, make that make sense. So this is too much in this case that tells me that it wasn't a screwed up investigation. Dude, this is corruption. All right? And it gets better, guys. Before law enforcement can, like, really even really do a deep dive, like, I mean, definite investigation at the house... They had ruled it suicide already and just released the house to the parents to have it cleaned up. And that was basically, that's it. It was suicide. Go ahead and get it cleaned up. Before the parents could even have it cleaned up, the uncle had already came and got the stuff. The parents have it cleaned and it's ruled a suicide. Even though the parents are like trying to fight it, trying to fight it. No, nope, it's suicide. So these parents have been fighting this for 12 years. Private investigator having... Lawyers come in pro bono, pro bono, and like try to help them get the ruling turned over, right? Because check it out, they can't even go in and try to have an investigation opened up into it until they can get the cause of death legally changed. It's it's messed up. So it's like they've literally been fighting forever just to get it changed, so that they can even get it progressed into. An actual murder investigation. You know what I mean? <sighs> Could you imagine that? Like getting a call that your child committed, you know, unaliving, suicide, whatever. And then finding out that she she suffered 20 stab wounds. And then to find out that her fiance didn't call 911 at first. Called his uncle, his connected uncle. And that the fact that the connected uncle ended up taking digital devices from the home that would literally be a part of any investigation. Any murder investigation goes down, they are going to take everything, research everything. And, and all that stuff's taken. And somebody in law, law enforcement literally makes the medical examiner rule it a suicide? Come on, man. Come on. Hmm. <clears throat> How many cases have we seen where there's less evidence, less red flags than this, and we knew what was up? We knew what time it was, and after a trial was over, the person was convicted guilty, right? This right here is insane. This is absolutely insane. And I know that state, Philadelphia, we know there's some corruption up in that area. There's been corruption. There's been connected. We know this, right? There's history with this. Dude. This is one of those this is one of those cases that will piss you off. I guarantee that. Like my overview, my little quick rundown of it just to get you guys caught up, just to get you aware of this situation so that you can go cuz there's already been um, like long videos made about this. Like they're literally detail by detail give you breakdown on this whole situation. Um and I'm telling you Go research it. Go look at the freaking narrative they're trying to push. It will make you upset. Because this makes no sense. A human being, especially a woman. Women don't stab them. They, it's so rare that a woman will stab themselves in an unaliving event. Like, they tend to do quick stuff that's going to do it quick. Right? It doesn't make sense. And then... I'm, I'm looking at statistics and most of the people that do end up using that method 
tend to be found close to a mirror and they think it's because they use the mirror to, to see what they're doing to themselves. I don't know what that whole situation is about. But she was found in her kitchen, leaned up against the cabinets in that in that situation, which it just does not, it doesn't make sense. How? Was she standing there, said, uh, 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 how are you even going to, you can't, dude. It's impossible. Absolutely impossible to do this to yourself. It's like, it's like trying to tell me that the people that are connected with government ties and this and that that come up dead, double tapped with suicide. It's about the same. It's like saying somebody shot themselves twice. Like, what? Uh, they shot themselves twice with a revolver at that. That one always gets me. Like, what? Are you serious? Who buys this? Who buys this? Not me. Hell no, not me. So I'd actually watched a couple uh, little documentaries on YouTube about this case. Uh, I don't know, like maybe two or three years back. And uh, it just popping back up and them getting closer and closer, the family getting closer and closer to getting her case, at least her her cause of death uh, turned over, changed. Like, I'm excited about that. And it, and it made me remember it. And I figured, man, since I'm doing these videos now i would love for more people to know about this case so i'm hoping that it, it coming back up and me making videos and i'm sure some other creators are going to start making videos on it i hope that creates awareness and puts pressure puts pressure on the legal system there because we know that's what it takes i mean look we've learned it just recently with the murdoch case with alex murdoch after he was locked up literally the the fear lifted from the communities and now there's all this pressure for on law enforcement to, to reinvestigate these situations and they are like so if we can get some more people knowing about this case and and really pushing this case i i feel like that's going to help this family get justice for their daughter i mean i know there's a lot of cases out there man there's a lot of cases where people need justice and stuff and I mean, I would love to cover every one of them, but I can only do that as I learn about them. But this one right here, I'd already known about and then seen it resurface now and the family like pushing for it, pushing for justice. Like I'm all for that, dude. And I'm definitely I'll just my little part right here. I'll do it. So guys, go, go check out some of the documentaries that have already been put out on it. The ones that will break down the timeline real fine. You get a little bit more detail than what I just gave you. But, I mean, I gave you guys the important part. And uh, go do it. Let me know what you guys think, man. It's, it's crazy. Um, not only let, you, let me know what you guys think. If you can share this video, share the hashtags for her. Like, let's get this rolling. Let's, let's help this family out, man. All right, guys. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up on this video. If anything else comes out on this, this case... Um, as it's developing, you guys know I'm going to jump on here and let you know. But other than that, man, I hope you guys are having an amazing night. It's your boy, the Piscean Predator, y'all. Much love. Peace.